Good morning. This is Dick Rochford in uh, November 369 Sierra Tango, a 2006 Piper Mirage. We've departed Goose Bay, climbing through flight level 220 up to our cruise altitude of 250, north eastbound to Narsasawak. It's uh, about 1040, 1040 Zulu, and uh, this leg should have been flown yesterday, but uh, it really has been a comedy of errors here, and uh, so I wound up overnighting. Missed my good tailwind. I got a now a 28 knot wind uh, uh, just off the left wing, just in front of the left wing, and uh, so slowing us down a little. So I really don't know what's going to happen. We're going to, you know, level off at uh, 250 and set up for cruise and then uh, do the math. So we'll just have to see. It just may not uh, work out for us today. Level, uh, what one, the, uh, the issue yesterday was, uh, first of all, getting a late start out of Bangor. We got uh, got into, uh, uh, or getting a, a slightly late start out of Bangor on account of the uh, EAPIS, which uh, uh, is not even necessary, but uh, I wound up uh, uh, eliminating that step after about a 30-minute delay. The uh, the trip up was uh, was a good one, as you know. But uh, then uh, getting into Goose Bay, there was a delay in fueling. Uh, the fueler had uh, apparently uh, accepted a part-time job as a ramp agent for the local uh, De Havilland Dash Eights on the ramp, the commercial operators, and uh, was loading baggage. So that was a 45 minute delay. Once the aircraft was super fueled, uh, by the way, it was done from drums, so uh, there is no uh, truck on the field anymore at, Nars at uh, Goose Bay. So they have to use an electric pump uh, wired to the battery of the tug and pump from 45 gallon uh, drums. Uh, by the way, you can't buy fuel by the liter or by the uh, the, dr the pound or the uh, or by the gallon it's sold by the drum and uh, once their drum is open on your behalf you own the drum whether you take the fuel or not it turned out to be expensive uh, so the, the delay in the fueling uh, s did not serve me well and then of course uh, uh, the exorbitant price of fuel triggered uh, uh, a credit card fraud Six early warning, one, 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 which delayed me another 15 minutes. Um, and then uh, one, the down coup down de gras was uh, uh, the taxi out to uh, gander get to find my clearance. And uh, turns out that they had miscopied the tail number and uh, they had 3, Peter, four, ten, radar, identify, three number, six Sierra 32. Tango and it wasn't coming up. So uh, that was another 30 minute delay with the engine part part time with the engine running so uh, that was the coup de grace uh, turns out that uh, our saucer walk closes up and goes home at 1945 so with the uh, three hour flight I had to call it a day last night in, uh, in Goose Bay overnighted at the Hotel North 2 which is the old Aurora and uh, had a uh, little light uh, dinner there at uh, Jungle Gyms that worked out for me early start today uh, the, uh, Woodward's uh, promised me uh, uh, a pickup from uh, North 2 at uh, 0600 local time and uh, Y0610, uh, the van arrived and uh, when I got there everybody was standing around uh, with their, looking at their shoes turns out that the only electric pump which I had used the day before was sparking and no one dared put it in a, a drum of fuel so uh, <clears throat> I left this morning two gallons short, but of course the, it was a heavy frost last night, so there was a delay for a de-ice, and, uh, and to the coup de grace this morning was that the uh, chief lineman slipped and fell, and um, the young fellows that were working with him didn't know what to do, so I stayed and rendered the first aid and uh, got him off to the hospital, and then... Uh, command and got them uh, queued up, uh, gave the guy some bandages and a, a quick uh, neuro test and uh, sent him off to the hospital. So here we are, leveling off at 250. I'm going to 
sign off now and get set up for cruise and, uh, and we'll talk some more. This is Dick Rochfort. It's been an interesting morning. 369 Sierra Tango. Fly safely. Train often.